Well, hello there and welcome back to the Hull City Fan Central YouTube channel, where today I do have my Hull City versus Middlesbrough prediction uh, for the match which will be taking place tomorrow night over at the Riverside Stadium in Middlesbrough. So, it's going to be a very hard match, as we all know. After the... Um, Good or bad, it depends on how you see it. 0-0 draw against Blackburn. We have another tough test on the road. So this will be an even tougher test than Blackburn. Middlesbrough are higher up in the table in that fourth position, fighting for third over Luton and possibly even fighting for second over Sheffield United. Yet yeah, it does seem unlikely at this stage in the season. So... In this video, I'll be going over my whole city predicted lineup as always. A little bit of information about both sides coming in to this fixture, along with my official match prediction, um, who I think will score, and what I think the final score will be, which is always a key one. So we'll start off with my whole city predicted 11. And this 11 will shock many people. Because it is the exact same starting eleven that we saw play against Blackburn for the opening 60-something minutes before Simonesh got subbed off. So, um, with no injuries, new injuries to report on other than Ryan Longman being back for available for selection. Although I do think he will start on the bench as I don't think Liam wants to chuck him in to 60 minutes straight off the back after just coming back from his injury with the past day or two um, with a tight turnaround in these fixtures. So it could be a scenario where a few of these um, players that started against Blackburn could be rested. Um, I know there was talks about Louis Coyle being rested, but I do think that he'll start. He had a fantastic game against Blackburn, made the championship team of the week from his performance. Um, I think Harry Vaughan was robbed not to be in that team of the week. But I do think it'll be the same lineup. Carl Darlow over in the net, a back four of Callum Elder, um, Jacob Greaves and Louis Coyle, along with Sean McLaughlin, who has just signed a new contract with the club, which will last till 2026. So he's got another three years with the Tigers at most least whatever. He could stay longer. He could stay shorter. But at the moment, he's doing fantastic. 21 league starts for him, along with 10 clean sheets this season. So it is... A fantastic time um, to be on the Sean McLaughlin bandwagon. He has been playing fantastically this season and last under Schotter. He has been doing fantastically enough that it's been discussed as a robbery, him not getting a call up to the Ireland international team. So much so that Scotland came and scouted him a few months ago with him um, having a possible link to Scotland, being able to play for them internationally. So it is a robbery. Someone call him up internationally and call him up now. Otherwise, you will miss out on the greatness that is Sean McLaughlin, as we have seen in the past few months, him reaching his prime, and I'm sure he'll exceed it next season. So, but a bit ahead of them, I do think that um, it will be the same starting lineup. So, obviously, we'll have Seri, we'll have Regan Slater, we'll have Harry Vaughan making his second um, start for Hull City um, in the senior team aspects and also second appearance, along with Ozan Tufan, Adama Traore. Um, I'm trying to th remember who, who started that game. Oh, who have I not mentioned? Yeah. Well, yeah, you get you get what I mean. You get what I mean. It is just the same lineup that started again. Blackburn. Obviously, there is available for few changes in there, but with our current um, aspects of um, not being a fully fit squad, I think that it will be a very similar lineup to the start uh, to the side that starts against Blackburn and did phenomenally within that second half, especially. Um, so I'll go into a bit of information about both sides because. 
It is going to be a tight contest. Uh, earlier on in the season, we did play uh, Middlesbrough at home. Unfortunately, lost 3-1, um, resulting with two own goals from Hull City defenders Tobias Figueredo and Cyrus Christie. Both are um, not looking in the lineup. Cyrus Christie's out with injury and Tobias Figueredo, ugh, God knows what hap has happened to him. Um, a goal coming from Cyrus Christie for Hull City and I believe uh, that Chuba Akpom grabbed the other one for Middlesbrough, who has got 21 goals this season. Remember the Ex Hull City lad who is now flying high over at Middlesbrough in that golden boot race in the championship. So it will be a tight matchup. Obviously, last season we did beat Middlesbrough 1 0 at their ground, but it was obviously a very different time, two very different teams to what we have now. Middlesbrough with Michael Carrick have been doing absolutely phenomenal um, since taking over. I think he got them all with relegation now up to fourth. It was third, uh, but in fourth position. So it will be a very tough test. Uh, they have been pulling out major results recently. So it will be one where the Tigers have to switch on if we want to have any moment of succession obviously our season does seem to be over now but we are in that form where we need to be playing well players need to be impressing Liam enough um that he wants to keep them next season because obviously it will be um a small rebuild um within the summer with Liam picking the players that he wants to pick um rather than playing with Shotter's squad um from last summer transfer window so it will be a very tough test for Hull City um, in that aspect. And with that in mind, I do think it will be a tight one. It will be a tight draw yet again on the road, making it a 1-1 one, one draw. It is going to be a tough one. I may be just putting my boots um, in the Hull City door, saying that we will grab a win here. Um, but obviously, you've got to um, evaluate the, the fact where Millsborough are. It's nothing of a downer on Hull City, but we are just not up to that level of um, Carrick and his squad at this time. But 1-1. One, one. I am going to go optimistic, and that's as optimistic as I can go deep down in my heart. I do think that Tuba Akpom will grab another goal against his former side, and then Hull City will play with another Adama Traore. Beauty. Um, I would like to see Harry Vaughan uh, grab a goal, but it's um, he, he is probably not going to... Um, Grab a goal against this Middlesbrough side. I mean, he did have a fantastic um, game against Blackburn. He was my man of the match. He was the man of the match um, in the whole city aspect. But I don't think that he will grab one. I think it'll be a tough test for him against this Middlesbrough side. Um, with with their layout and his play style in specifics. So do you think Adam Traore will grab another one, his second at Hull City? And he almost scored against Blackburn with that beauty. Check out that vlog if you haven't already. So let me know down in the comments what you think the uh, score will be. Any other little bits of information that you agree or disagree with me in this video. It'd be lovely to hear from you down in the comments. But I will have my match reaction out tomorrow after the game. So make sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of that beautiful content and any more content as we make our way throughout uh, the remaining few games of this season and pushing into the summer transfer window and eventually the 2023-24 season where Hull City will be the championship champions. So I will see you then. Goodbye.